Hi, welcome viewers to this video on uh, mathematics. We have uh, questions from indices. And the first one says 8 1 to the power of x plus 1 plus 3 to the power of 4 x equals to 246. Okay. So when you're doing this kind of problem, remember positive sign is not defined the laws of indices. And therefore, when you see a plus or a minus uniting two terms like these ones, you need to know that there is something to do with making an assumption, right? So we are going first of all to write uh, eta 1 to its simplest base, which is 3 to power 4. And then using the laws of indices uh, to simplify that. And this is what we are going to have. So we are going to not interfere with the right hand side. And so here we have 3 to power 4x plus 4 plus 3 to power 4x equals to 246. All right. So this is where now we have to let. We let uh, 3 to power 4 x equals to m okay so here it's like you have 3 to power 4 x dot 3 to power 4 plus 3 to power 4 x equals to 246 all right we are almost done so this is now what we are calling m according to this assumption so we are going to say this is like eta 1 m plus you know m equals to 246 all right so coming up here because of space we have 82 m is 246 so if you divide uh, by 82 both sides you're going to have m equals to you know 3 all right so now going back to our assumption we say that our m is 3 to power 4 x so we have 3 to power 4 x equals to 3 to power 1 and so this goes without saying that 4 x is equals to 1 and so x equals to a quarter sorry because you're running out of space so next question here 9 to power x plus 1 plus 3 to power 2x plus 1 equals to 36. Again, we do the same thing. We have a positive sign here, which is not, not so not defined in the realm of laws of logarithms. Okay, so we are not going to interfere with the right hand side. So we go ahead and simplify 9, which is 3 to power 2. And opening the bracket at the powers, we have that. And then um, that yields into something like that right so now we're going to have 3 to power 2x plus 2 uh, distributing the powers across so we have 3 to power 2x plus 1 equals to 36 again uh, we dissociate this so we have 3 to power 2x dot 3 uh, to power 2 plus 3 to power 2x again dot 3 to power 1 equals to 36 again we are going to let uh, maybe 3 to power 2x equals to something like k this time I've decided a different variable altogether. So this is like 9k plus this is like 3k here. And that is equals to 36, okay? I'm lucky because I'm having a product of 36 coming about as a coefficient of k. And so k is nothing but 3, right? Going back to the assumption I made. So this is like 3 to power 2x equals to 3 but to the power of 1. So now 2x is 1. So x is nothing but a half. And this is quite easily done, right? This is quite easily done. Okay, so follow my videos for more content. And uh, make sure if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you do so. Thank you so much.